Hi, I'm Rhonda Schuler, your NCC secretary, and this is my husband, Dan. Hi. So, Dan, are you ready to share the story of how we met? Is that what we're supposed to do? Yes. Um, what if I told you I don't really remember how we met? So, that was Dan's exact response the first time I asked him about doing this video together. And although it may sound terrible at first, the truth is neither of us remembers the exact moment we met or were introduced. Our story begins at Grove City College. And Grove City is a small campus, and even if you don't know somebody, you know who they are. And I think, like, we had similar friends, mm -hmm. and um, it wasn't probably until our senior year when our friend group started hanging out together, and that might have been the first time I, I met you, but it was in a large group. It wasn't something individual. Yeah. So after graduation, I moved to Pittsburgh for a job, and I was not from Pittsburgh. I grew up in very rural Potter County, PA, so moving to the city was a big adjustment for me. But fortunately, there was a small group of people um, that I knew from Grove City, including Dan, who were from Pittsburgh and lived nearby. Yeah, so we were all working around Pittsburgh and most of us still lived at home. Rhonda was like the only one that had her own apartment. So her apartment kind of turned into the hangout spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and apparently Dan's way of getting to know someone is to come over and snoop through all their cupboards and drawers, their freezer. I mean, how else are you supposed to get know, to know someone? Anyhow, this, this went on for a couple of years. Um, and as it continued, we would sometimes go out together, just the two of us instead of everyone else in the group. Yeah, so one of our favorite memories from this time period happened just before we officially started dating. I invited Dan to go to my cousin's wedding with me, and the wedding was out of town, so we stayed at my grandparents' house for the weekend. So I get dropped into the middle of Rhonda's family. <laughs> um, we were getting ready for the wedding, and I remember distinctly I forgot my belt. So... Knowing that I, I probably couldn't have gone without it, I asked her grandfather if I could borrow a belt. And he did give me a belt. It just happened to say <laughs> the word grandpa in very large letters across the back of it. I know he had other belts. I don't know why he chose to share that one with Dan. <sighs> but Dan was a good sport and wore the belt. Uh, I, I don't think he removed his jacket the whole no. day, but he, he did wear the belt. <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> And then it wasn't long after that um, that we officially started dating, and we dated for about a year and a half, and then Dan asked me to marry him. Yeah, and then actually just a short six months after that, um, we ended up getting married. We got married on December 23rd in 2000. It was a very cold day yes. in December. <laughs> so we just celebrated our 22nd anniversary we have two grown boys. Um, our youngest, Davis, just turned 18, and Anderson will be 20 this month. I know. Um, so it's just gone so quickly. And starting this fall, both boys will be away at college. So Dan and I are beginning a new chapter. We are. <laughs> Empty nesters. Yep. But I'm ready for a new chapter as long as I'm doing it with you. I agree. <laughs> so thank you for doing this video with me. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I hope it turns out okay. And thanks for watching. We hope you have a great week and we'll see you Sunday.